What's up, guys? For Dedicated Art, my name is Chris Doman, and with me today, I've got... Oh, me, Nico Rigoli. How y'all doing? <laughs> great great reaction there, Nico. Well done, well done. Yes, so, guys, it's, it's Star Wars Celebration. We're still in the middle of the chaos. We're still in the middle of the madhouse, and while, sadly, we didn't get a trailer for The Mandalorian, um, damn it, I won. It's so bad. But, to make up for it, my childhood is happy, because we got not just a trailer for the last season of Star Wars The Clone Wars, the great animated series created by Dave Filoni. We also are blessed with some exclusive clips that, yes, we're about to react to right now. Like We just got done watching the panel, and we, we made sure we're not watching these clips because we wanted to actually do actual reactions. Nico, do you have any thoughts, or do you want me to just shut up and start watching? Um, so this first one we're going to do, The Bad Batch. Uh, it's an old arc that was from one of the unfinished episodes that was released on StarWars.com several years ago. And uh, it's a very interesting arc, to say the least. I don't know if it's going to be the exact same arc we got from the StarWars.com unreleased episodes, or if they're just going to expand on it in a new way. But I will say, what I like about The Bad Batch is, you know, in a, in a way it feels like... It, they're autistic like me. Uh, like they have special qualities that make them different from the rest of the clones. Well, it, it, essentially, it they're bu- essentially they're a bunch of ninety nines. Yes, and, and they and, all, they have their own traits that that uh, that they focus on. Uh, yeah. uh, like you have you have the tech the the solely focused tech guy. You have the muscle. Uh, like and, and a, they even said on the panel that they're like the A team. Kind of. You know, and, and it's funny I brought up that point of 99 because 99 was one of my favorite characters in the Clone Wars who, oh, God, you know, spoiler alert, but when he crapped out, I, oh, that hurt. That hurt me so much. Especially when one of his other brothers from Domino Squad 5's later kicks the bucket. I, I was literally in tears. That's how much uh, this show has affected me. But I'm ready. Are you? Ready to push play. Okay. In three, two, one, play. Mm-hmm. Come on. Ooh. Ooh, look at that animation. That blast gave away our position. <laughs> Although getting shot down gave away our position. Everyone, fall cover. I like well, the solid position, snake look. Come to us. I don't think so, Captain. That's not our style. We prefer going to them. Or Rambo. Batch, Line 82. Shockwave. Like, he's definitely inspired by Rambo. Oh, definitely. Those helmets. 501st. To They're going to be on those, like, dominoes. Nice ingenuity. Using debris as a shield. Droids can't defend shit. No. Ooh. Clever. That's cool. Boom. Damn. I'm loving this. Dude, what? Damn. What? And these are just four troops against an entire battalion. Wow. 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 What the hell? Wow. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay. Um yeah. So sure, this does not look a thing like you know the bad batch arc that we, we got the to at least see the previs for, but uh that was amazing. So th- there was a game of about a decade or so back uh, that focused on a, tr- a troop of clone commandos. Star and Wars like... Republic Commando, released in 2005, I... one of the best Star Wars games ever made. 
I feel like we need a re-release, but with the Please? Bad Batch, and it would sell so well, and it would be so much fun, especially considering, like, you know, these clones, they each have something that they bring to the table. They are strong as a team, uh, and, yeah, I want to see this episode. I want to see an entire game based off of these characters, because, wow, they did that to an entire freaking battalion of droids. Yeah. Like, eat your heart out, Anakin and Obi-Wan and all you other amazing Jedi. Like, that was... That was incredible. Um, so, are we ready to move on to the next clip? Uh, yes, we are, and just to set it up. So, this next one, based on the concept art that we saw before this, this is going to focus on Ahsoka, and I believe two sisters from 1313. And, uh... Speaking of also uh, great could have been, should have been, would have been <laughs> games, uh, the the Undercity of Coruscant is one of the most interesting places in all of Star Wars because it is a complete rat hole down there. It is kill or be killed. You have to fight to survive, and I can't wait to see it. So, Nico, we got queued up. We are going to press play in three, two, one, play. Here we go. Nice. Soak on a speeder bike. I love that new headband. I just miss seeing Ahsoka. She's so popular. That's the crazy thing about the show is it took someone people hated for two years and turned her into the most important and most beloved character in all of the franchise. Pretty much. What? No, no, no. Oh. Uh-oh. Sabotage! Shades of episode two, flying a thing upside down. Huh, speaking of episode two, using the music from episode two. Oh yes! <laughs> She's not paying for that. Nope. <laughs> the typical cartoon, I'm in the air and then I'm down. Pretty much. Ooh, a wall run. Haven't seen that since Jedi Academy. Well, um, Jedi Fall in Order, they did have a quick, brief scene of some wall running. Well, wall running to that extent, we haven't seen that since Jedi Academy. Whoa! Damn. <laughs> okay, then. Now, we see a scene like that, and, you know, again, I'm glad to see that we're going to get more of Ahsoka because... Granted, her arc ended perfectly in the Clone Wars. But I want more. Exactly. I want exactly. more. Like it was the perfect ending for the for the the seasons that we got in full. But we still know there's more to the story, especially with what we've been reintroduced with her in Rebels and also with the novel which I still have to finish. Dude. Uh, which I will get on it. Uh, once the semester ends but nevertheless there's still a lot more of Ahsoka's story worth being told and yeah especially with just that one scene alone like why is she on a speeder bike what happened to that bike that caused it to do that why, uh, like is she did well, she piss something let, off let, let, let's be fair she and Anakin have the worst luck when it comes to any form of mechanical engineering which is weird because they're both. At least one of those two is very good with his hands. He built an entire droid from scratch. Yeah. Well, that was before uh, he became more machine now than man. But see what you did there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But and and it's funny that we're saying that because you know we we never got to see another scene between them in see in the in the lost missions, and that always that always bummed me out because. I want to know what happened. Oh, except, hold on a minute, though, Nico. 
this scene is probably going to break my heart, this last clip. But here we have one that is previs. It was it's, it's technically unfinished, but it's going to be it's going to rip our hearts out nonetheless because it's a reunion between Ahsoka, Anakin, and Rex. Are you ready to cry? Let, 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 let's just set this up a little bit more. So for those of you who paid attention to the London celebration a few years back, there, uh, Dave Filoni was describing an arc regarding Ahsoka and Anakin's reunion that never really got to be. And all, all we saw was concept art. But it was still enough to make Ashley Eckstein cry. Now we have actual footage of the arc that we never got to see. And yeah... This footage also made Ashley Eckstein cry, but will it do the same for us? We're about to find out. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to do the same regardless, but let's find out in three, two, one, play. I like the blue. I see why she made the switch to blue in Rebels. Yeah. She feels a little out of place. They shouldn't salute me anymore. Not since I left the Order. It doesn't matter to them. It's a sign of respect. They know what you went through for them day after day. Battle after battle. Loyalty means everything to the clones. Those helmets. Those helmets. <laughs> Go ahead. They've been waiting to see you. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. <laughs> as soon as Rex and the guys knew you were back, they got to work. The paint job's a little crude, but we think it gets the idea across. <laughs> Glad to have you back, Commander. Rex, thank you. But you don't have to call me Commander anymore. Sure thing, Commander. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, oh, that was that was amazing. I'm not crying, but my heart feels so good right now. Yeah, same. That, you know, because I, I, I feel like that was how every fan was reacting in there. Because, like, sure, you know, Ahsoka had to earn her stripes. She had to earn our respect. She had to earn our love. And because we grew up with her every single week, the fact that she grew on every single one of us every single week, that's just the strength of the character. And yeah, when this thing is finalized, I will be crying as I watch this on Disney Plus. <laughs> oh wow, wow! And <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm speechless. I, I, I don't really know what to say other than yet. It's in a way, it's sort of like also a fan tribute to Ahsoka. Yeah, as told in the form of the story itself. Abs- uh, absolutely. Because, yeah, she had to work to earn the respect of the people she worked with in the show. But, yeah, she also had to work to earn our respect as well, as you just said. And this is the ultimate tribute from, like, both fans and the story characters alike. And it's just – she's so beloved. She's so beloved, which is crazy because after season two, not a lot of people were on her hype train. Uh, people were hoping that train would fall off a cliff, uh, and, but now here we are, and she is, as I said during the actual reaction itself, she is one of the most beloved characters in the entire lore of Star Wars. Yeah, and she's she's in my top ten. She's in my top five. Although, to be fair, you're not as well-versed as myself or Case, and... That's Shut up. Oh, I'm not saying that, no. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing because 
you know, granted, I have, you know, I have almost a thousand characters. I can, out of almost a thousand characters in Star Wars that I know from comic, from canon and legends, and the fact that she's in the top ten, that says something. And, yeah. So, to Dave, thank you for showing these clips at Celebration. And, uh, guys, stay tuned, because you're going to be seeing our faces here very shortly again as uh, we take a little dive into the long-awaited trailer for Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 6, I guess? But uh, until then, Nico, where can the good folks find you online? Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, at Nico Suave Regoli. That's N-I-C-O-S-U-A-V-E-R-E-G-O-L-I. Right here on Dedicated to Arts in all the places Chris will say in just a moment. Multiplex Entertainment is the name of the Facebook group and the YouTube channel. The Twitter's at Multiplex YT. The Instagram is Multiplex Entertainment Network. The TeePublic is TeePublic.com slash user slash Multiplex. Buy our awesome shirts. Zaddy Smith and I have a weekly discussion show called Crisis on Earthplex where we talk about all the things that make us sweaty. And finally, <laughs> Combat Wrestling Trivia is the name of the Facebook group. Combat Wrestling Network is the name of the YouTube channel. The Twitter is at, is at Combat Wrestling, the number two. Uh, we have, a, if you love wrestling trivia, if you love wrestling itself, come join us and also watch Adonis Nazario and James Berryman III's weekly discussion show called The Raw and SmackDown Breakdown every Wednesday as well. You know, speaking of Adonis, um, listen, Nico. Oh, uh, dear. You, you, you know I like you. I, I really do. And Adonis ain't a bad guy. But House Night Fury is going to be taking a loss when I face him. And I will very soon. Uh, it all depends on when that match drops. But, um, you know, and, and good luck, Adonis. You're going to need it. That's all I'm going to say. But until then, you guys can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Stardust, and Letterbox at Skywalker Dome. And please, you guys can follow this uh, channel on Twitter and Instagram at D2A Channel. Please like our Facebook page. And uh, stay tuned for all of our Schmodown reactions, the Who Cares Anyway podcast, and our Game of Thrones recap, which will also be coming starting this week, hosted by Case with Arena and Ryan. It's going to be a wonderful time. If you guys watch Game of Thrones, go check that. go check out that show. I won't be on it because I'm not caught up yet because I'm I'm a loser. Same but, here, but I'm not a loser. I just haven't gotten to the show. <laughs> so until then, guys, you all know what to do. Take care. Yeah. <laughs>